starting to film. Hi everyone. Thanks for oh, I don't know. Hi everyone, welcome back to My Beauty Times 2. Um, I looked at my calendar and it said Valentine's Day was around the corner, so I decided to do a Valentine's Day look. Um, it's actually a nighttime look. Um, it's a blue smoky eye, and for anyone that has plans at night, unlike me, um, you can do this um, beautiful blue smoky eye and pair it with a nude lip, and you're good to go. It's really not that hard, and if you like this look, Please keep watching and please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and leave any comments if you have um, any suggestions for the next video. Thank you. Okay, to start off this look, we're going to use Painterly from MAC. I recommend getting Soft Ochre instead, but since I don't have it, I paired it with my NW25 MAC Concealer and I spread that with my Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. Then I use my Lorac Pro palettes and use the color light brown and just spread it in my crease and dragged it down onto my eyelid. Using my Urban Decay palette, I'm using the color Strip, which is a metallic blue, and I'm just using my MB10 Morphe brush to pat that on. And you really want to make sure that you pat it on as much as you can. Because I'm a little darker, it was harder to get it on, but as long as you keep patting on and keep putting product on the brush, it will come on. Then going in with my cargo palette in the color Twig, which is just a darker version of that strip from Urban Decay, I'm packing that on the middle of my eye. Again, we want to pack on as much as possible because this is a nighttime look and it's important for it to look dark and smoky. Then for the outer corner of my eye, I'm going with my Lorac Pro Palette 2 and just going in slowly and building that color with the color Navy, which is just a really pretty dark blue and it's matte. And you want to slowly blend it in um, using a any blending brush. You should really take your time with this part just so you make sure that it doesn't spread all over your eyelid and you don't go above your crease. Because my crease did get a little lost in that, I'm going back in with that light brown and I'm just reinforcing my crease. Now I'm going to go back in with that same navy and just keep packing it on, just so it's a nice gradual process and if you don't like it too dark, you can always um, keep it at that step or if you want it darker, you can make it even darker. Now I'm just using any water spray just to make my brush a little wet so that the color twig will be a little brighter, um, just because it didn't really show up on my skin color, so I did that. And I'm doing the same thing with the color strip, and you can see it makes a really big difference if you just make your brush a little wet. Now I'm going in with a cool gray, and I'm just putting that on my upper lid where I would put my eyeliner, just so when I put my eyeliner on, it'll look a little more smoky instead of just having a clean line there. Then I just added some black in my crease in order to give it a little more dimension. Then I'm going to go back in with that blue just to reinforce the smokiness of this look. Now I'm using my Makeup Forever Ink Liner, and I have to say I was really, really excited to get this product, and when I got it in the mail, 
Um, I tried it on and it really wasn't what I was hoping for it to be for. It is just a normal eyeliner. Um, it's pretty much similar to like a drugstore product. Then I'm just using my Coco Lashes and I'm applying my LA Girl Cosmetics Gel Glide On Liner. And on my bottom lash, I'm using that navy and just spreading it on the bottom just to give it a nice smoky look. Now for the face, I'm just using um, my NARS concealer to conceal my problem areas and I'm using a damp beauty blender to spread that all over. Now I'm just doing my brows with my Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Dark Brown. If you guys want a tutorial on how I do my brows, let me know in the comments. Now I'm just using mascara, it can be any mascara, to just blend my fake lashes with my real ones. For my face, I'm using my Stila CC Cream in the color Rich Medium, which is my favorite replacement right now for a foundation because of how lightweight it is, but it also gives a very full coverage. For highlight, I'm using my MAC Prep and Prime, and I'm so sorry for making that face. I was just surprised on how yellow the color was coming out on the camera. It looked really, really scary. I'm just applying that under my eyes, on my nose, around my mouth, and I put a little T on my forehead, and I'm just blending that, and it's really important to do that um, so one part of your face doesn't look brighter. We want to make sure that it balances out. Then I'm using my Stila CC Cream in the color Warm, and it completely flew out of my hand, sorry. And I'm just applying that as a contour, and I'm going to use my, um, to blend that in, I'm going to use my MAC 130 Duo Fiber Brush. And I didn't like the way it was blending, so then I went back in, and I used my Morphe MB4 to give it a more defined contour. I thought it was important for it to have a more defined contour because this is a smoky eye and it will be used most likely at nighttime, so it'll look really nice in pictures. To contour my nose, I'm just going back in with that 130 Duo Fiber Brush. Now to set all the highlight areas and contour areas, I'm using my Anastasia palette. For the highlight, I'm using my Morphe G2 brush and I'm using the color Banana. Now I'm using the dark colors in my custom contour palette and I'm using the same MB4 brush just to warm up the cheek areas and I'm going to warm up the rest of my face and put it on my forehead and underneath my face to give it a more chiseled effect. Um, again, with the more chiseled effect, I decided to put a light CC cream underneath the hollows of my cheeks. Now I'm using my BH Cosmetics Glamorous palette, and I'm using a lilac purple blush because it really complemented the blue on my eyes, and you can use that with any blush brush. I'm sorry for how yellow the camera ended up getting. Um, I'm still playing around with the camera and I'm trying to figure out how it works, so bear with me.
Now I'm using an NYX liner in the color Ever and spreading that all over my lips just to block out the purple and dark colors in my lips. Now I'm using the color Brave, which is a pink nude, and it's important to go light on the lips just because the eyes are a little crazy, and then you're good to go.